Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to The Loft for this week's weekly update, which does take place on a Wednesday, where we basically go back, look over what's happened with my portfolio over the last month or so, and just keep a track so that we can see over a longer period of time what's happening with my investing portfolio, what successes I have, and what utter failures do occur. So, now we've covered that, let's actually jump into the portfolio and have a look at what changes have occurred. So, as of last week, we had a value of £3,250. And as we move through the entire week, we come to a new value of £3,241. Now, obviously, this is a drop return-wise. We went from £309 of return, which was about 10.5%, down to £300, which is working out to be around 10.2%. So overall, the portfolio is down about 03 However, if we do compare this to the Vanguard VOO ETF, we can see that we have actually managed to beat the VOO on this occasion. My portfolio does tend to be more defensive than the VOO. So we've seen the VOO drop down around 2.5% in the same time that my portfolio's only dropped about 0.3%. However, I can say that we have done no buys and no sales, which is evidence from the fact that the value hasn't increased massively amounts, basically. So we can move straight on to the dividends, which start on the 28th with a 40p payment from BP, a 39p payment from Bank of America, a 63p payment from Kraft Heinz, Royal Dutch Shell sent over 17p. Then ending that day, we had Domino's Pizza with a total dividend of six pennies. The other dividends for the week came in on the 1st with a payment from Simon Property Group, coming to a total of 19 pennies, and also a payment from Pepsi, coming to a total of 67p. Overall, this brings my dividends for the week to around £2.51, which is quite good in the sense of it's a quarter of my goal for the month. But if you want to see if I met my target, either you're going to have to watch the last four episodes, or make sure you come back this weekend, where I'll hopefully have my monthly review. Now, that is the dividend side of it. And I do just want to touch on a quick slight change with my portfolio going forward for the next month or two, which is there's going to be less money actually added to the account, unfortunately. I've got some higher expense months coming up over the next few months, basically until the new year. So I imagine for the next month or two at least, I'm going to be putting minimal amounts into the portfolio because I don't want to get into a position where I'm putting money in that really should be going on other expenses and then I'm going to need to dip into the portfolio or my emergency budget to cover these funds. So due to that, there is going to be a slight slowdown in the increase of portfolio value, but I'm hoping to be able to double the amount that I put in as of the new year or when I start the repayments back up to counteract the fact that I've gone a couple months without putting any money in. If you're interested in what stocks I'm looking at for when I do have funds, currently I'm quite interested in watching Games Workshop. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm quite a keen follower of Games Workshop as a customer as well as an investor and they've dropped around 20% over the last month or so, and it is getting very close to the buy price that I'm happy to pay for Games Workshop. So I'm keeping a close eye on that, and if it does drop much more, I'll probably try and find some money to pick up a few more shares or half a share or something like that. But that does depend if they drop or if they start to rebound and go back up. Obviously, it's a missed opportunity, but I'm not particularly worried. I will just buy it when they hit the value that I want them to. Now, that is essentially it for today. So do remember to subscribe and like this video. If you didn't like the video, do make sure to hit that dislike button. But I would also appreciate a comment down below basically telling me why I'm a bit shit. So pardon my language, but we will see you next time. And until then, remember to invest, save and subscribe.